Video 5, C Multicast SSM Signaling via BGP. This video describes the task number 5 of this introduction to multicast VPNs. Once the PEs are MVPN neighbors in the context of ERF1, PE3 and PE4 can propagate their PIM join state upstream to PE1, the unicast next hop towards the source. PE3 and PE4 achieve that by sending the new BGP routes called source tree joins. The magic of these routes is that they are targeted to PE1 only. On the other hand, the routes sent by PE3 and PE4 are identical, so only one is picked by the route reflector and sent up to the PE1. This may seem to be an issue, but it's absolutely fine. One source tree join is enough for PE1 to know that there are downstream receivers for that particular flow. PE1 then propagates the PIM join state up to CE1, and the multicast traffic arrives at PE1. Let's see the source tree join route in detail. As any multicast VPN route, it has AFI1, SAFI5, this time, the route is Type 7, which stands for C Multicast Source Tree Join. This route contains no information about the originating PE. It's like an anonymous subscription for a multicast group and source. The key element of this route is the route target, which has two parts. First, the router ID of PE1. Why PE1? Well, from the perspective of PE3 and in the context of ERF1, PE1 is the unicast next hop towards the multicast source. PIM has a similar mechanism to achieve this, the upstream neighbor field set in the PIM join packets. The second part of the route target is a number that was dynamically generated by PE1 and identifies VRF1 locally at PE1. In this way, the source tree join is not only targeted at PE1, but also to VRF1 in PE1. But how does PE3 know that magic number if it was logically generated by PE1? PE1 modified the unicast route to the source by adding a route import community with exactly this information. PE3 just needs to copy that value into the route target of the source tree join route and the magic is done. 